Yo, study, study. Is that the guy study you kill? Do these. Study window jumped in. Dead. Nice. One up, four remaining. Good job. What's up guys? All right, so today we are going to be doing an operator guide for a Rooney. We'll be talking about our loadout, how to play as Rooney, what you should do with your gadget, and basically how to excel, rank up, and win matches while playing Rooney. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to the loadout of Rooney. We have the Rooney and the MK14 EBR DMR. Honestly, I have these guns, solid choices. So you have the Rooney, which is Pretty fast fire rate with low damage, so you're gonna be wanting to go for headshots. It's hard to kill multiple opponents that are all coming for you because after every engagement, you're probably reloading 16 bullets. So it's a little tough. And my personal favorite that I definitely recommend trying, which is the DMR. The DMR as a defender is crazy good. It does so much 60 damage. I mean, alien recoil, especially with the vertical grip. You can run the angle grip if, if you choose, but I like the vertical grip because I like just spraying as fast as I possibly can. Run that muzzle for the tap fire shots, and then you have a one five scope. You cannot go wrong with this gun. It rips people apart. Honestly, it's probably one of the more broken defender weapons. So definitely uh, suggest leaning towards the DMR if you're not sure which one to go to. And then you have the, I mean, you have a pistol. I mean, nothing really special here. It's, it's a solid pistol. It's like a Capitals pistol. So, play Capital. I mean, it's okay. Get a little backup, but this is your bread and butter. And then you have barbed wire and a bulletproof cam. Barbed wire is good if you want to keep people from rushing you, rushing your team. The bulletproof cam is good in some situations, which we'll go through a couple of situations that you'd want to use a bulletproof. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for the loadout. Pretty simple and straightforward for Rooney. All right, let's show you guys the recoil of the DMR really quick. Very easy to keep it on point while swinging there's a lot of damage basically two shots out of everybody so you don't really need to go for any real like headshots you can't go for headshots obviously like it's not you'll still kill them but if you aim a little bit lower i mean honestly you'll do just fine and you can make kill holes fucking easy and now we're going to be talking about rooney's utility which is the they're on gates, laser gates. So, what they do, if you throw a drone or anything through this gate, the gate will go down and it'll destroy that utility that was thrown through it. Drones will be able to go underneath unimpeded though. So, if you want to play, pair this up with like a mute jammer or something, drones won't be able to get through, but if one drone goes through this gate, the gate will go down. That little part right there will flap open up It'll spark when you can reset it, which will take about 20 seconds or so. So, which we'll demonstrate a little bit in a, in a little bit. Um, the gates can come back, but you, you have to have line of sight to reactivate it. So it is hard, like, let's say a gate like here, if the attackers are already fairly far forward, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna run past everything, reset it and run back, no. So here's a little setup I like to do on cafe with the laser gates. I guess so that gate prevents anything from the red or the hatch and yes the gate's not going to stop the gate will only do 30 damage to a person that walks through it so it's not going to stop anyone from actually just pushing through the gate but it'll make a very loud audio cue that will tell your team hey there's someone there and if someone's playing near pixel we'll be good grenades won't be coming through that direction they can't come from any other direction but we'll be good on that on that side at least and another spot you can use the gates on which is this is also a good one a lot of grenades come from this window so having to get there not a bad idea no it's the laser gates not too overly complicated think of think castle meets capkin you can keep people out in a way and also deny some utility rudy is one of the only operators in the game that can deny like grenades like jaeger and Wumai. because uh, let's say i want to throw a grenade at someone over there well i can't throw it through the gate i have to burn the gate but you can burn the gate easily with a drone but you're still wasting utility to get through 
Rooney's Gates. A video by Scott Charles about how Rooney goes down, so his teammate goes out, boom. And then Yin goes in, I believe. And the Rooney Gate goes down. The Rooney Gate's now down. So in about 20 seconds, you will get a prompt to reactivate it like this. And these are short from the unprovoked prawn pews. So the uh, Rooney Gate down, as you see, pops open and it re-triggers and then it's back up. So every 20 seconds, as the gate is burned, you will be able to reset the gate. For the entirety of the round, you can just reset it over and over and over. There is no way for an attacker to physically take off the Aruna gate from the door frame. They can burn it, but you will be able to reset it after a certain amount of time. All right, let's talk bulletproof cam really quick. Bulletproof cam is extremely valuable in certain rounds. So if you pair a Rooney with, let's say, a Malusi, Malusi can deal with like people like crouch walking up staircases. But as a Rooney, you want to place your gates down and then have a camera just for Overwatch. So a lot of times that camera will get shot pretty quickly. And having a camera here makes it a little bit easier. You can also have one on Chalet, which we'll demonstrate now. Areas on Chalet, like so in the lobby on the main staircase. You need a lot of mileage out of a camera like this. Like Malusi, you can just place like your Malusi's or other operators will have barbed wire that you can just place around. Cameras like this are very hard for the attackers to deal with. And I can watch the canine walk and the main door as well as short from kitchen with just one camera from a Rooney. And this isn't even her main use for picking her, but both of cams are extremely useful. And if you see any drones, obviously you can zap them, disable them and t call it to your team where they're at. So. Bulletproof cam. Right, so now I want to get to another added bonus for a Rooney because it's a little, it's a little different than most other ops. So Rooney has another backup feature, which is her melee. So she doesn't have a secondary shotgun to make like rotates and stuff, but you will be able to punch lines of sight like so. It takes a lot of time. But if you have so, uh, if you pair this up with another defender that can like have impacts or maybe someone that has a shotgun, you can just help make rotates a little bit quicker. You can set up a couple things in prep. Like I'll make a rotator too and make line of sight and then I'll be good. Go with what I'll do in prep. So make like a rotate, make the line of sight, and then I'll come over and make another line of sight. And that, that'll usually be it for my prep. And then I'll come over and I'll place down my gates, let's say on this door. And all our grenades come through this area. Never a bad idea. And a lot of people like to walk in through K9, so I'll place another gate here to slow them down as well as absorb any pesky grenades or any other type of utility. So this would be my a default setup for holding, let's say, master. Talk about another aspect of a Rooney that is a lot different than any other op. Her ability to do runouts is crazy good because her melee. And you can just jump right out. You don't have to throw an impact, you don't gotta do anything. All you gotta do is just run at the door, hit melee, and you're through it instantly. She's the only operator in the, in the game that can do that. So her runouts, extremely efficient. So she is, I, I like to think she's the best at runouts. Sometimes you won't have the best gun for runouts, but a lot of the time, if you play your cards right, she's gonna have some really effective runouts. Like I'm showing you guys a few on cafe. You run out to the guys on repel. You need to run back in. So use that fist, baby. Uh, let's talk about your role as a Rooney. So what I like to do with a Rooney is I like to be extremely aggressive because I'm able to make lines of sight very easily while keeping my gun up. So I'll, I'll like just apply pressure wherever I feel like the enemy's at. Keep lines of sight up. So they're on the big window. Oh, I, you can even do this. This DMR is great for long range making holes. So you have a lot of soft destruction as a Rooney. So make sure to take advantage of it. So your function as a Rooney as like either a room or anchor, etc., You can function as pretty much whatever you want. I don't think a Rooney is ex extremely good. Like hard roamer, but like a soft thermer, someone that's fairly close to sight, but around sight is not normally a bad thing. And as an anchor, honestly, Aruni's a solid anchor as well because if I have my DMR up at this door and you have to push me, even if I'm getting body shots, this is killing someone really quick. Aruni's an extremely good anchor. 
honestly, you can get away with basically doing whatever you want. I personally don't think that Arudi is a very good hard roamer because her lack of impacts or nitro. So, all right, guys, let's take you through a normal round as Arudi. So here you're gonna see me playing an FPL, aka face of pro league, placing an Arudi gate on the outside bakery door so we can play in bakery, placing another on the small bakery window for grenades and entry. So we know when they're pushing through the bakery, you help with reinforcing nothing too crazy here got some barb nothing too crazy here nothing too crazy going on barb in the hallway another another rooney gate for prep because a lot of people will like to throw grenades through that window as they push through and now we're going to go through me making more holes with my fist and then as the round goes on i play more of an anchor roll here we are keeping them back as they push in the DMR, you can really keep people back because all you have to do is really aim for the body and just let that DMR sing. If you get a headshot, even better. But honestly, if you ever get a piece of them, they feel it. Here, you guys are gonna watch me hold off this door real quick. We would take them out. So, nothing I did there that was that crazy. So you set up. All that stuff. I like to place a Rooney a little bit closer to sight because that DMR is really good on them having to push into you and you holding down like a door, window, or a hallway. Just being able to spray that 20 bullet mag and you have a lot of extra bullets. So don't be afraid to go a little nuts and just spray them down. All right, here's another round. It's Rooney placing down a Rooney gate for the state door walk-in for Villa. One for Boar because little Mr. Trip Bullen likes to... uh Jump in that window and throw grenades. And then another runic gate for the bathroom door because a lot of enemies will like to walk through that bathroom door or they'll throw grenades from bathroom into Astro from there. And then I also help make the rotates to save impacts because we don't necessarily have a shotgun player currently. So on sites where it doesn't require that much shotgunning, like with kill holes and whatever, I like to go with Rooney just to kind of, you know, do everything that's needed. And I know it's done. So barbed wire again very very key always make sure to use your utility and then here i think i'm going to make kill holes on the main wall yep uh we have it soft so i'm going to open it all the way across so we can see straight across and because i don't want to run over and open that with my fist because it's already kind of dangerous i just open it with my dmr not a problem no worries round goes through i'm holding down that window we're holding the angle I'm watching as they try to grenade while pushing through. Grenade comes out, I swing over. Look how fast this DMR can actually take people down, bro. Like. I'm not sure if I can pause on a good spot. I mean, I get him with a headshot there. So, nothing too crazy, but it is an amazing gun, bro. I, I, I don't know how to emphasize that. Like, a lot of the times when people go a Rooney, you're picking her mainly for the DMR. That DMR is going to rip attackers apart. Do not be afraid with this gun. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today for how to play a Rooney. So Rooney is one of my favorite defender ops. Honestly, she's extremely strong. Honestly, she's probably going to get a nerf at some point, probably your weapons, the DMR. So I wouldn't be too surprised on that. But as, as it currently stands, Rooney is a great op. So. Let's go through some of these vendors. You have Jaeger and Wamai, who can also function like a Rooney. Like if you have an Aruni gate, as long as you know that utility is coming from the attackers, defenders can keep their heads up. So like, yeah, a lot of times you won't want to have a Jaeger and maybe you won't even have a Wamai. Like you can get away sometimes with just having a Rooney. Not too often though. Aruni is an amazing operator. Definitely a uh, good flex op pick for any lineup. So. Yep, that's it for today, guys. Um, biggest thing for Rooney to remember, to keep in mind, is to keep your gun up. Your DMR is not good for, like, quick like shots. Keep your gun up and make sure to spray. All you need is uh, two body shots, and you're taking down most, if not all, operators in this game. So just keep spraying. <laughs> all right, guys. Till next time, I'm Senva. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and drop a like for more. Let me know down below in the comments what operator you want to see next. So, <laughs> peace out, guys.